Buying a Ubisoft game day one should come with a I'm a sucker sticker. It is crazy and frankly embarrassing that chopping down trees and breaking rocks would be considered innovation in the Far Cry series. There's a great Sun Tzu quote that sums up Far Cry 6. Hmm, the graphics are evolved just backwards. It's weird how even with the HD texture pack that the gun and the vehicle models still look low res. Look, I can usually give a pass when it comes to distant models that appear lower detailed but having items so up close to the character but still having such blurry textures make it literally look like a game that came out three generations ago because Ubisoft very clearly spent their entire budget on Giancarlo Esposito and don't get me wrong the man is a hell of an actor. You have this incredibly versatile actor and you choose to use him in a very cliche boring manner with zero nuance to him but if there's one thing that's been re-established in the last year is that games with celebrities in them are used to get people interested rather than the gameplay itself and that should be a red flag going forward. Right okay we are going to be 1000% real here because unfortunately on YouTube I'm seeing some moronic knee pad wearing bozos calling it the best Far Cry game ever made. Either A you've never played a Far Cry game before or B you received an early access code by Ubisoft and early access is the only way you can get people to watch you slobber all over Anton Castillo's Cuban nuts well you keep doing that you bitch. while over here on this channel I only serve the audience not kissing the of a billion dollar company hit the like button and subscribe now here's the truth Far Cry 6 belongs in the 75% off discount market if you've already played Far Cry 3, 4 and 5 then you don't need to play this at all Far Cry is actually a guilty pleasure of mine and even I couldn't avoid the copy and paste approach and you know what really pisses me off about Ubisoft sandbox games it's that their refusal to commit to either stealth or action seriously hurts their game design. Their broad way of playing to please everyone always ends up pleasing no one. But being told over and over again that this is the reinvention of the series when it very clearly isn't is quite insulting. This is such a tired old formula. You know I kind of wish that they would bring back some of the realism in Far Cry 2. Let's actually see guns getting worn out and jammed more destructible environments and not having to go into the menu for a map. Let's actually get back to what I was saying. The formulaic repetition of Ubisoft games have been a consistent problem for the better part of the last decade and somehow Ubisoft just has this very narrow minded and specific understanding of open world game design that has never evolved in the last 8 to 10 years and that's also the primary reason why so many of their games feel the same even when the actual gameplay is different I mean Far Cry 6 has enemies having health bars while being in level gated areas that is so generic I mean they're not even trying to hide their lazy game design anymore the lack of innovation in the Far Cry series is especially ironic when you look at the origin of the series. All the first three games are significantly different from each other in story and in gameplay. This was a series that kept changing until it found huge success and then it stopped. I think Far Cry 3 has been a blessing and a curse to the Far Cry series because when you really think about it that game had the perfect framework but Ubisoft didn't know what to do with it because they did not take the time to research what works and why and thus all of their long running franchises suffer greatly for it. Far Cry 3 was like the Resident Evil 4 of Far Cry games, the best in the series by far. But now the developer has to go through a series of not so great games until they innovate again like RE7. I also think that cutting Vars' story so short wasn't the wisest idea. Literally every other character is almost forgettable compared to him and speaking of Vars, didn't he say something to the effect of of insanity is doing the exact same thing over and over again expecting 
to change. I mean, that perfectly sums up, sums up Ubisoft's stale open world formula in the past decade perfectly. However, when you think about it, if we're all being honest with ourselves, Ubisoft aren't the insane ones. We are. Those French twats keep doing the same thing over and over. And us players keep expecting them to change by buying their garbage. I mean, we kind of deserve it. I think everyone in their mother wants a new Splinter Cell, but instead we get some generic Eric Call of Duty clone. And what about the Skull and Bones pirate PvP game that they promised us years ago? Oh, what's that? It's still in development hell and probably never going to come out? Oh, I should have known, silly me, but I think I know why Skull and Bones and Splinter Cell haven't come out yet. It's because Ubisoft are having a hard time implementing a pay to win system. But anyway, we're going off topic. In Far Cry 6, Castillo's son should have been a few years older and then be the player character. Just listen to this premise that I came up while taking a dump earlier. Imagine if you begin as an enforcer for Castillo and somewhere along the line you either join the rebellion or you continue your father's legacy or even better usurp him, take over and become an even worse dictator. Not only is that a way better premise but it creates a narrative choice that allows the player to actually invest in the character's motivations in the story. It's really not that hard and the repetition wouldn't be so apparent if Ubisoft actually had good writing. Just imagine how much of a center stage Anton Castillo could have had if Ubisoft had a more linear approach like that and if Far Cry 6 wasn't an open world game. But if you're going to make it open world, why not just take the best mechanics of each game and combine them into one meaty but dense package? I mean, that has the possibility of being amazing. But I do want to say this, Far Cry 6 does take a risk. They remove skill points and experience and force your playstyle to be based on the gear that you find. And had I knew that beforehand, that alone would have been enough reason for me not to buy the game day one. It could be a personal preference, but I don't know about anyone else. I love actually having a say on how I level and play. I positively do not love being stuck playing in a style based on RNG loot. And I also want to say this, Far Cry 6 actually did something profound. It made me reflect and realize that I need a break from all of these checklist, mindless side activity, RPG light driven games. I can't think of an open world game since Skyrim where instead of checklist style repetitive activities, there were unique locations, quests and mini stories around every corner. Those days are long gone. But the moral of the story here is never buy a Ubisoft game at full price. Just wait for the inevitable price plummet in the holiday season. These games deserve the same scores as Madden and FIFA at this point. I'm glad they're sitting at 76 on Metacritic. These games are played out and we're all stuck playing reruns. And if you want things to get better, you have to be honest. And Ubisoft is the definition of creative bankruptcy. The level of delusion to think that this quality is worth $70. Laughing my f Arse off. And on that bombshell, I'll be playing Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon again, Manix out.